live from Bush Stadium in St. Louis, Missouri, MLB The Show has action out of the NL Central. It's the Chicago Cubs taking on the St. Louis Cardinals. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about set to go now. And for the Cardinals here this afternoon, it's Sonny Gray. Chris, how about a scouting report? Well, he's putting together a really nice season on the mound. ERA in the low threes. Very respectable when you consider guys are looking to do damage. They're not trying to just walk and hit singles. They're trying to hit homers and draw walks and score runs. So we have a guy that can limit the other team from scoring more than a few runs. That's really tough to beat game in and game out. And a 1-1. One -one. And a foul ball. Here's a 1-2. That gets down for a hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Well, we don't think that pitch would have been called a strike, but he did such a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. And here is Michael Bush. That one almost got him. Swings through that one. With well, two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. On the ground, a second might be two. Good feed. That's one. Over to first, but it's offline. Well, he had the chance of turning two right there, but I don't think he got a good grip on the ball as he tried to transfer from glove to throwing hand. They say you can't assume a double play. I beg to differ at the big league level, but it's going to be ruled as a fielder's choice. Now here is Seiya Suzuki. Sonny Gray checks on the runner, and he's back safely. One one is fouled off. And a pitch. Swings here and blasts one left field. Dives, but it falls. And now it looks like extra bases. Lead runner holds at third. So two runners in scoring position and just one out. Had a pretty good swing on that one as he drove it out to deep left. Didn't quite have the right combination of launch angle and exit velocity to get it over the fence, but you're never going to be disappointed with extra bases. In half, up to hit. Hey. On the inside corner for a strike. One ball, two strikes. Just misses with that one. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Next offering is downstairs. Christopher Morell waiting to hit for the Cubs. Outside, and that is ball four. Oh, that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. Christopher Morell, the next cup to hit. All loaded up, dangerous hitter at the plate. And a count one and two. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. 
Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. In comes the first run of the game. It's 1-0 Cubs. Big RBI for him right there. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer. And he hit the ball on the screws. Dansby Swanson stands in. Swings through that one for strike two. One ball, two strikes. And he deals. Swing and a miss struck him out. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Brady textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Miles Mastroboni, the next Cub to hit. On a strike, the pitch. And that one fouled off. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact. Got him. Good job at damage control right there. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. here in St. Louis pitching for the Cubs in this one Kyle Hendricks what's the word on him well he's been giving up a lot of hard contact this season I mean coming in guys are hitting comfortably in the high 200s so many times there's some bad luck but then also there's just a little miss here or a little miss there that changes the outcome of the at bat we'll see if he can be consistent and make adjustments quickly in this one and now Mason Wynn Swing and a miss as he was out front. You know, this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Line drive, base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff down. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Just a solid swing right there. Kind of and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. No outs. Runner at first. Now the number two hitter, Alec Burleson. Kicks and deals. Three and a swing and a miss. One gone bottom half of the first. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just that needs to let the ball travel a little the more, and his hit. timing will be back oh, on track. Yeah. Good pitch for the strikeout. Right, right, right. Wilson Contreras now up to the plate. Hendricks throws over. Win back on a dive. Win at first, one gone. Rudder takes off. That one the other way. That's a hit! And they'll have runners at the corners after a one out single. Anything but pretty right there, but he'll take it every time. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. Now it's Goldschmidt up to the plate. Inside. So all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. But you want. And that's in the game. Good pitchers make pitches in big situations. And right here, the middle of the order hitter up, runner in scoring position, he's got to find a way to throw a quality strike. The 3-1. Yeah. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Okay. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. 
And that'll oh. load the bases. Well, a great back and forth in that at bat. He <laughs> put off some really no close one. pitches, and no somehow he no. found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. And now Brendan Donovan. This to third. Base hit. One run in already. Now the second run is in. And a two-run ball game now. Know how he let that ball travel. Trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Here's Nolan Arenado. Maybe a two ball, five, four, three. It's a double play, and that'll do it for the inning. Well, we can never overstate it. Pitcher's best friend right there. Double play, gets out of the jam, saves some pitches. Here at Bush Stadium. Go, 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 go. And the batter now, the Pete Crow Pete. Armstrong. Pete Crow Armstrong. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Just misses. Now two and two. Patrick Johnson behind the plate. Patty Johnson to some boot, but I'd ask permission first before I called him that. Does a pretty good job back there. Occasionally, we'll see a couple of sideways looks from players, but that kind of comes with the territory, right? And yep. there's a the ball. Miguel Amaya up next. The wind of the pitch. And a swing and a miss. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. And now it's Miguel Amaya. Oh, that jumps up. Next pitch is outside. The Redbirds up by a run here at the top of the second. Bounced up the middle. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. The batter out of the second base. So the batting order turns over. Here's the Cubs leadoff man, Nico Horner. Yeah, the 2 1 hammered but foul. When you're taking your lead over there at first, you've got to be very careful. This guy on the mound's got a good pickoff move. Righty to the plate. Outside. Ball three. All in this count. Runner, not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Boo. Line drive. Come on. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. Michael Bush digs in now. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Oh, Everything well. came together for him. Right. Pretty tough for the infielder yeah, to do yeah. anything with that yeah. one. He pulled it hard into the outfield. And even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. So two on with two away. And now the right fielder, Seiya Suzuki. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. Now what a two. One ball, two straight. Amaya on second. Bush at first. Two out of the inning. Fouls it off. Still one and two. Two on, two outs. 
That one lifted to left. And that's the third down. So they strand a pair. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Cardinals two and the Cubs one. Back in St. Louis as the Cardinals come up to hit here in the last of the second. We head to the bottom of the second and stepping in for the Cardinals, Lars Newtbar. Swings through that one out in front that time. Singh wasn't very sharp in the first, got hit around a little bit, just wasn't able to locate particularly well. A lot of stuff for the fat part of the plate. Yeah, Boog, he wasn't fooling anyone. It's a tough place to be because it's not always obvious what adjustments need to be made. Sometimes it's location, sometimes it's being too predictable. Sometimes you're tipping your pitches. He's going to need to figure it out quickly, though. And that's outside. Counts full, three and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Mastroboni calls it in, and there's one away. Batting it, the second baseman, Nolan Gorman. Here's Nolan Gorman. He provides a surprising amount of pop from the second base position. Listen, that's not something to take lightly. Getting that kind of production from the guys up the middle, it's not a strength of most lineups. And what does that do for a team when you get power from unexpected spots like that? When you're in the dugout and you see a guy come up big like that oh, that you don't necessarily like expect it, it just energizes that entire team. The pitch. Wouldn't Down chase that two. time. Max and misses. It's a strikeout. Kyle Hendricks has been one of the best pitchers in the National League since debuting in 2014. And he really runs counter to what we see in the game today. The successful high-velocity guys with a lot of swing and miss. He gets more soft contact, but he's been successful nevertheless. The professor, as some call him, Carl, as his teammates call him. Definitely an outlier when you consider how the game is played. It's all about velocity. It's all about exit velocity and the ability to slug and hit the ball into the ballpark. A guy like this, I'm not sure he gets scouted uh, today or even drafted, but his ability to consistently repeat his delivery, hit the corners, change speeds, he doesn't have much margin for error. So to have the level of success he's had at the big leagues is very impressive. Two outs. Two one. And a pitch out, but nothing going on. The two one. A swing and a miss. As he was out front that time. Missed with a changeup. And it's three and two. Three, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Base hit, left center field. Ciani around second, headed for third. Coming home. The relay throw. The tag, and he's safe. That's back to back singles for him. Put you on that pitch on the outside, but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely. And that takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. Two outs, runner at first. And now the DH, Alec Burleson. And the righty deals. That's out to center field. And there's a hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Right there, he does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. And up to hit is Wilson Contreras. And here it comes. And it is two and one. 
Well, he's just given up three straight hits, and now behind in this count to this hitter. Might be a good time for somebody to call a timeout. Maybe the pitching coach go out there and talk to him just a little bit. Two and one now, two aboard. Hey. The Cardinals trying to break this one open. Bottom half of inning number two. Line drive. That's a base hit. Rounds third, headed for the plate. The throw in. It's off the mark, and he scores. Four hits in a row, and they're really swinging it here. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. First and second, two down. Paul Goldschmidt will hit next. The pitch. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. One-two now. And ball, another ball. Burleson over at second. Contreras on at first with two now. Two-two now. Swings and misses. Struck him out. So it's two runs on four hits, no errors, and a couple left on. End of two here at Bush Stadium. It's the Cardinals four and the Cubs one. Ian Happ now at the plate. Happ struggling on the road this season. Better results at home. After scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. What do you tries to check his swing. Now with to third. And that's through the swing. It's a strikeout. Christopher Morell, the next Cub to hit. You talk about the power and the speed together. Well, we knew he was going to be a stud just coming up making his way through the minor leagues and quickly at this level an impact player one out base is empty oh. off the mark there ball two down base is empty swing and a soft liner out to left field and it's in there base hit the bat runner on at first with one gone and up next for Chicago Dansby Swanson in there for a strike at the bottom of the zone the runner good job to fight that one off Sonny Gray checks on the runner the Cubbies trailing by three we're here in the top half of inning number three double play ball to second flips for one and that's two no runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Cardinals four and the Cubs one. And we're back. Now the left fielder, Brendan Donovan. 
Been a rough start on the mound for this guy. This third inning is so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a ball little right bit down. of length in this one. That's outside, and that's ball two. Action in the pen down there. Justin Steele up and throwing for manager Craig Council. Lighter also getting ready. The wind and the pitch. Ground ball right side. Corner. One up, one down. Now back. The third baseman. No way. Here's Nolan Arenado. And when you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. And a pitch. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Now back. The right field. Two outs, bases empty. Next to hit, Lars Newtbar. Two down, nobody on. The 2 1. A little out front there as he swings through it. Two balls, two strikes. Ticketed for the gap, but couldn't get through security. Great job there of leaping, making the catch, and ending the inning. Out of the fourth, stepping in, Miles Mastroboni. Miles Mastroboni. And a pitch. Hit weakly on the ground. Gorman. Whips it to first on the run. Yeah. And one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff man. Up next He's doing a nice uh, job of keeping the ball team. out of the air. Pete lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Pete Crow Armstrong, the next cup to hit. Looks like the weather could actually play a factor in this one. It's coming down pretty good. Yeah, it is. And it's not too bad yet, but the field's not going to be able to hold up if the rain gets any worse than this. So keep an eye on the pitcher's mound as well and the rest of the infield start to puddle up a little bit. The catch at number nine, Miguel Amaya. And now the catcher comes up to him, Miguel Amaya. Kicks and fires. That one down the line, and that's just foul. Two outs, space is empty. On the ground, out to short. Win. Tosses to first, and the Cubs go one, two, three. Cubs are down quietly, and they trail it 4 1. Justin Steele will take over here. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Now up for St. Louis, Nolan Gorman. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. But well, we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. Nope. Misses outside. outside, two and two. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get right where you want it. That one is absolutely belted, oh, and it foul. gets into the corner, but it's foul. Comes a 2 2. And another ball. Goes down looking. Now batting Michael Ciani. 
Bases empty one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Right through there for a strike. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there on the mound. Fights that one away, still one and two. One down, base is empty. That oh, just good. misses. Two balls, two strikes. Ah. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Very strong coming out of the pen so far as he now punches out the first two That's batters he's about. faced in this. We're getting straight to work. Man, it's Where? talked about a lot, but relievers are just so electric these days. He's not fun at bats if you're a hitter. I'm so glad I'm retired. Yeah, nope. now two balls ball. and a strike. In the air right field. Suzuki on the move. And that ends the inning. set for the start of the inning. Here's Nico Horner. Taken high in the draft. He's had that top prospect label over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away and you've got to produce at the big league level. That ball just two. misses. And yeah, that's ball two. Movement in the bullpen. Ryan Helsley appears to be getting loose. The pitch. The other way. Fair ball. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself now into a good that. count. The he really pitch. shot that one down Michael. the right field line and somehow Whoa. found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. And now, Michael Bush. We haven't seen a break in the weather, and the umpires might be forced to make a decision soon. Yeah, I think so, Boog. I mean, everyone looking and wondering when they're going to stop play. It definitely feels close. Sonny Gray checks on the oh, runner. Corner back in standing. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. Fouled off. He was late. The 2 2 now. And a swing and a miss. And now one away. That right there is one of those breaking balls that you swing through and you feel like you should have done something with it or at least spoiled it away. But when it's breaking in on you like that, if the spin is tight enough, it can actually tie you up. And next for the Cubs, Seiya Suzuki. there for a strike at the top of the zone. The one two. Got him looking for the strikeout. Cubbies with only one outlet. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back to back strikeout. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him in the scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. Gray is just one strike away. Fly ball, pretty well struck right field. Newt Bar going back on this one. Drops in for a hit, couldn't run it down. Across is the runner from first. And now just a two-run deficit. Well done. Narrows the deficit with the RBI there. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay.
comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Sonny Gray will depart, and he's responsible for the runner on second, so the book isn't closed on him yet. We'll be right back. On a pitch out of the pen here. Number 29 saves on the season, so he's looking for number 30 right here. He's been big for him in the back of that bullpen. And now here is Christopher Morrell. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. All season long, he's racked up a number of saves, and sometimes. The adrenaline doesn't get high enough until there's a runner or two on base. Pitches in the dirt, and that's ball three. Just about gives his skipper a heart attack, but that's where he functions best. Hey. That finishes the evening's action. He's done it again, Bird. That's his 30th save of the year as he puts another game to bed. Sweet dreams, everyone. And your final 4-2 for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby saying so long. Tonight. First for the big three, the Louis Cardinals. Four runs, seven hits, 